Well, hello there, people. Welcome to another driver's seat review on the OBN network. My name is Wayne, and let me just start off by saying sorry if I seem really run down and sick. No, playing this demo did not have that much of a bad effect on me, or well, maybe it did, who the hell knows. But I'm just suffering from the worst disease possible in the human race, man flu. But let's just move all that aside because we're here to talk about that demo that a lot of people are bitching about already, so I've got to put my two cents in on it. <sighs> Contra Rogue Corpse. And look, before I get into any real deep details, if you haven't known already, I'm a massive Contra fan. If you don't believe me, check out my latest videos on Gamer Monday. I go through and I cover how the original Contra trilogy, being Contra Super C and Contra 3 Alien Wars, how it really had a big impact on my childhood. And then I kind of get into how Contra lost its way. And boy, we can say that more than ever now. And for those who are unaware, yes, Contra is returning for a whole new generation. I would like to say that, but no, it's bloody not. And I'm not the only one saying this, people. There is a demo that has been released by Konami where you get to play roughly 10 minutes of the game, and it's fucking awful. I'm sorry for the profanity, people, but how the fuck can you screw up Contra so fucking bad? I mean, it really grinds my balls into dust that you could take a beloved franchise that we have all grown up with and it was so simple it was so fucking simple how can you ruin it it should be contra the fucking franchise killer that's what this name should have been killed because i fear for this franchise now after playing this if this is anyone's introduction into the contra world contra's fucked to me what shits me is konami's kind of followed the style and and popularity of games like fortnite and try to put it with contra what the hell it, Fortnite is Fortnite. Whether you like it, hate it, whatever, that is a whole separate entity. What the hell has that got to do with fucking Contra? Besides the obvious different look and tone of the game, which people have already, you know, bitched about constantly. <coughs> see, <coughs> see, people, this is what it's doing to me. It's even breaking down my flu. My, my cold doesn't want to be part of this review. Let's just get into the, the start of this demo, shall we? So you drop in this over-the-top bloody introduction where you're flying in on this missile and what do you get? Oh, your gun is overheated. Let's learn how to use your weaponry. When did there need to be a fucking training mode in Contra? Contra is simple. You drop in, you start shooting bastards. That's it. Now you've got all this shit on screen explaining how to play a simple shooter. What the hell? The last thing, the fucking last thing anyone wants in a Contra game is instructions. The original Contra game, we didn't even know the story. We didn't even care. We just jumped on in, started shooting, picked up weapons, beat the game, and fucking loved it. And you know, I gotta laugh. I have got a bloody laugh. The song they use in the trailer to promote this new Contra game is We're Not Gonna Take It. Well, fucking no fans of Contra is going to take it either. What the hell have you done to this franchise? People have said it's, it's like they've taken Legacy of War, the worst Contra game, the fucking worst Contra game, and said, you know what, let's try and remake that. And you made it worse. You fucking made it worse. At least Legacy of War is like a 15, 20-year-old fucking game. You know, I, I complained in my, my reviews how you know, Contra 3 and uh, Super C didn't really have the Contra theme. It still had that great music. But they didn't have the theme. Here, just cram that shit in the bin and here, here's a generic fucking soundtrack. You know, <laughs> you might think I'm putting on a performance here. I'm not. I want to bang my fucking head against the steering wheel and say, what the hell in God's fucking mind did they... Oh! And mind you, but this is the demo. This is the goddamn fucking demo. This is not even the game. I... I... I oh... Lost for words, people. Lost for bloody words. I could accept this if this was like a mobile game that you downloaded or some shit. But no, this is a fully fledged, fleshed out game for 2019. 2019, people. I would rather play a point and click adventure based on Contra than this shit. And I love point and click adventure games, but they have no part of Contra. And, and, and the characters. Don't get me started on these goddamn fucking characters. Hey, aren't we zany? We have a fucking panda! Fuck off! <sighs> and look, I know people are probably saying, you know, you're, you're one of these old school bastards who can't 
you're update with the times, you're stuck in the old school NES days of Contra. And you know what? Hey, that might be true. I would rather pop in my NES game of Contra or Super C, um, Alien Wars, Savage Soldier, any of those games before playing this shit ever again. Yeah, a demo people is like a film trailer. It is a film trailer. It's meant to get you excited. It's like a, a little a little sample, a taster, so to speak, to get you wanting more. This? Yeah, this makes me want more. This makes me want more lean than such a time machine to go travel back in time, get Konami, bang their heads on their damn desk saying, wake the hell up to yourself. So much so, people. I had to write notes. I had to bloody write notes on this goddamn thing because... I, I'm honestly lost for words. I don't know where to start and how to fix this. It, it makes us fans look like utter dickheads when we try and say to people who have never played Contra, hey, check this game out. You're going to love it. What's their first introduction? This piece of shit. Am I going to really buy the game and give it a, a true playthrough to see if it changes my mind? <sighs> Fuck no. No, no, I, I would rather stick my dick in a pool full of piranhas. Yeah, the likelihood of me and other true Contra fans actually enjoying this finished game, it's like the chances are, say, me beating the original Contra game with one bullet. And that's it. Chances are not fucking possible. And it's, I'm sorry, people, for the profanity, but seriously, this game, I love the franchise so much, and to see it go down this route, it, it would be like, you know, what if they recast Thanos in the Avengers Endgame and it was played by Adam Sandler or some shit like that, you know? that That's really the kind of level I'm talking about. <laughs> so people, that is another driver's seat review. Kind of cheating because this is a demo, so it's not actually the finished product. Will I review the finished product? I I, I, I doubt it. I, I seriously doubt it. I, I don't know if I could. Well, thank you again for watching, people. Sorry I'm down and I'm not feeling the best at the moment, but with that being said, because I'm a sick man, would you give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and even share this to other people who kind of might feel the same way or hell, even people that might not feel the same way but need some reconvincing. So, this has been Wayne and you have been watching Driver's Seat Review only on the OBN Network.